Let's dive into implementing delete functionality using server actions. We will start by adding a delete button for each product in our list. So in products db page.tsx, after product.price, I'm going to add a delete button. Button type is equal to submit with a red background for styling and the text delete. Next, let's define our delete server action. In actions slash products.ts, we will add a remove product function. So export async function, remove product. Import the delete product function from prismadb.ts, which handles deleting a product by its ID. Remove product server action takes an ID parameter of type number and passes it straight to the delete product function. Very straightforward. Now, back in our products page, we need to call this server action. But here's the question, how do we do that? If we use the onclick handler on the delete button, it would make it client-side code. We, however, want the component to remain a server component. Well, the solution is to wrap our button with a form element. So form opening tag and closing tag. On the form element, we will specify the action attribute to call the remove product server action. So action is equal to remove product. Make sure to import it at the top. Import remove product from actions slash products. Now remove product needs the ID parameter. So we will also bind product.id using the bind method. So null comma product.id. This makes the product ID available as the first argument to remove product, just like we did earlier with our update product server action. This same ID is passed to delete product. Let's save everything and try it out. In the slash products DB route, we see our newly added delete button against each product. When we click delete on the last product, so validation title one, we see the network request, but nothing seems to happen in the UI. If you refresh the page, you will notice that the last product is gone. So what's missing? Well, we need to refresh this product list automatically after deletion. To fix this, we can use a function called revalidate path. Make sure to import revalidate path from next slash cache. As an argument, specify slash products db, which is the path of our products listing page. We are telling Next.js to refetch data for slash products hyphen db path after deletion. Make sure to add the await keyword. Now, when we delete a product, submit product one, we see the network request and it disappears from the list without needing a manual refresh. You will still notice this 1.5 second delay we built in though. In a real application, this would typically be shorter. Still, any delay isn't ideal for user experience. So up next, we will look at how to make this feel smoother using optimistic updates. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.